All right, everyone, it's Mr. Robs. Yeah, Mr. Cope. <laughs> and we are going to go and we're going to talk about this thing called the distance formula. And to do that, let's take a look at this grid here. And we're going to put a couple points on here. I'm going to put on the point 1, 3, which is here. 1, comma, oh, sorry, well, negative, negative 3. Negative 3, yep. 1, comma, negative 3. And the other point I'm going to do is I'm going to go 7, 5. 7, comma, 5. And I'm looking to find the distance between those. I want to find that length there. All right, so in order to do that, what I notice is that I have a triangle here. And it's a special kind of triangle. It is a right triangle right there. <coughs> and in doing my right triangle, I know I can use Pythagorean theorem, which says a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And the key to the Pythagorean theorem is that this side here is the hypotenuse, the longest one. And so I need to know, and these are going to be a and b respectively. I need to find this distance here. Okay. If I do it, I can just count. I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But that's not going to work very well all, all the time. So I need another idea. Where could I get 8? This is my y value. Where could I get 8 when I have a 5 and a negative 3? Where can I get 8 from there? So we're looking for the difference between 5 and negative 3? Right. So if I go 5 minus a negative 3, I get 8. So that's, that's going to be squared. I also want to find this distance between my x's, and I could count and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But if I look at the 1 and the 7, that's the same thing as saying 7 minus 1, which is the 6. And that's going to be my a. So it's going to be 7 minus 1 squared. And I'm going to add those, and that's going to be my c squared. Or what I could do is I could take the square root of that value, plus b squared is equal to c. So if I square root this, I can get c. And so I take the difference of the x's, squared, which is 6 squared, plus the difference of the y values, which is 8 squared. If I square root it, I get my distance, which I called c. Well, I get 36. Ooh. Oh, come back, plus 64, which is C. 36 plus 64 is 100. The square root of 100 equals 10 is my distance of C. Okay, so let's talk about, this is the difference in the X values, difference in the Y values squared. Let's kind of formalize this. So what I've done is if I want to find the distance, the distance. I know it was the square root. And I took my x values, my x1 we'll call it, the first x value and the second x value, x2, and I squared it, the difference between them. That was specifically going to be this value here, down here. The difference between the x's, which is 6. Okay. It doesn't actually matter if the x1 and x2 which one of those coordinates you chose, right? Because no. even if you if it came out as negative 6, when you squared that, it would be the same as squaring 6. Exactly. And then I took the difference in the y values, and I squared it. And this is the distance formula. Okay, You do not need to memorize that, but you need to be familiar with it. Let's do an example now that doesn't have a diagram. Let's do example A. And oh. it is negative 1, negative 4, the point. Let's say A, point A is negative 1, comma, negative 4. And point B is... Negative 3, negative 8. Negative. Lots of nice negative numbers. Right. And we're going to try and find the distance of line segment AB. We want to find the distance of that se segment. So I think I shouldn't have... Those mean line segment, that means the distance. All right, so if I want to find it, well, this is my first coordinate. I can call this x1 and my y1, this one x2 and y2. 
And it's just a matter now of plugging my values into the equation. So my d is equal to square root so of, got of neg x, negative 1. Go ahead. Yeah, take away negative 3. Be careful of your negative and sign. Square the whole thing. And then add, what have we got next? Negative 4, take away negative 8. All squared. All right, so what, what do we end up with here? Negative 1, take away negative 3. So that's going to be 2. All right. So two, 2 squared. And then negative 4, take away negative 8 is 4. Also a 4 squared. Which is 4 plus 16, so, which is square root of 20. Now we've been working with squares. We know how to simplify that. That we know is root 4 times root 5, which is 2 root 5. That's the distance between point A and B. Very nice. Okay, let's try another problem now. Here's problem B. I have a point A, comma, 6. 6. And negative 2, 2 is the other point. Negative 2. Oh, sorry, yep. negative 2, 2. Negative yep. 2, 2. This is A, this is B. And I am told the distance from A to B is equal to 2 root 13. I want to find what the value of A is. And there are two values, I am told. Okay, hmm. well, let's put all this information in. It's, it's easy if we just... We have our formula, we label up our x1 and y1, x2, y2. And we plug it into our formula, which we know is this thing here. The difference in the x's squared plus the difference in the y's squared. So okay. we know that AB is D. That is our D value. So I can say 2 square root 13 is equal to, plugging it in our values, I get a minus a negative 2, which is plus 2 squared. Okay. I'm going to add, what am I going to add? It says 6 minus 2, all squared. All right, so now I have, let's tidy it up a little bit, 2 root 13 equals square root of a plus 2 squared plus, well, that's 4 squared is 16. All right, so now I have a square, I need to get a, I gotta get rid of the square root somehow. In order to get rid of a square root, I have to square it. So I'm gonna square, if I do it to one side, do it to the other side. So when I square both sides, the square root goes away and I have a plus 2 squared plus 16. And over here, well that's 2 squared times root 13 squared. Okay, so what's that? 4 times, times 13? 13. 4 times 13 is 52 equals a plus 2 squared plus 16. I'm going to now subtract 16 from both sides because I'm trying to get A all by itself. Help me out here with 52 minus 16. Ooh. Okay, what have we got there? So what, 36? 36, yes. Ah, nice square number. Nice. Square I have root. a square to get rid of it. I'm going to take the square root of both sides. But because I'm taking the square root, I have to do plus or minus. And so I have square root of 36 is plus or minus 6, which equals a plus 2. And so now this breaks up into two different scenarios. I could say a plus 2 equals positive 6, or a plus 2 equals negative 6, because it two different answers. Subtract the 2, and I get 4. Subtract the 2 and I get negative 8. And so my a could be negative 8, 
or it could be four. Okay.